wrong with you? I love math. Jocelyn, what's the first thing we need to do? Yes. Okay, so I'm thinking four terms. I can't factor by grouping. So the steps you just wrote down. So we find factors of the first two and the last two. Find the first. What letter is first? Q, Q or P? Oh. Q. And last is what letter? P. P. So I put my finger on the last term. And I put my finger on the first term. So my last. Um, no, 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 no. It's P over Q, right? Is that what you guys wrote down? Yeah, it's P over yeah. Q. I knew it. I knew it. Last over the first. <laughs> Okay, now we need to list out all the factors of 6. Class, what are numbers that multiply to be 6? 2 and 3 and? 1 and 6. And the factors of 3? 1 and 3. Okay. Uh, step number two. Pablo. Now we need to divide P and Q, each one of them. What does this mean? If you put your finger over the three, then I just do this. One divided by one, two divided by one. So what's one divided by one? Two divided by one. Two. Next one. And six. Okay, gets better than this. Ready? Now I have to do divide each of them by three. What do you get? One third. One third two, two thirds. One, one. Three over three is one. one. And six divided by three is two. <coughs> Ricardo, step number three. Cross. Off repeats. Class, which ones are repeating? Okay, so when I say cross off, I just don't want to test this number again. I don't want to test that number. Does that make sense? Okay, what does this mean? I have one, two, three, six, positive one third, positive two thirds, and then all of these are negative. Do you guys remember this? I have to test each one of these to determine if it's a zero. Count with me. Race, I go. Three, four, five, six. I got 12 possible zeros. Cynthia. What's the next step? <coughs> Say it louder. I have to do 12 mini synthetic division problems. And basically I'm trying to find the one that is? Remainder is equal to zero. Okay. Now, are you appreciating that one part that I gave you? Does that make sense? Yeah. It's kind of like if this was the same problem, this is the answer. I need to find one of these. Okay. Here are my hints. Who likes fractions? You're all raising your hand. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. I would not start with fractions, if possible. Okay. I'm probably going to start with one and then negative one. Let's test it. Here are my coefficients, 3, 1, negative 8, and 6. You guys having fun yet? 
Turbo. Bring it down. Multiply. Add. Multiply. Add. Multiply. Add. I have a remainder zero. Class is one a factor? No. Not a factor. What does this mean? One doesn't work. I'm crossing it off. Do it again. Let's try negative one. Negative positive three, one, negative eight, and six. Bring it down. Class, multiply. Multiply. Add. Multiply. Add. Multiply. Oh, so close. Add. Oh, painful, painful, painful. Class, is this a remainder zero? No, no, this is not a factor. Ooh. All right, what number do you think we should test now? So negative one didn't work. You said two? I don't see two. Three, one, negative eight, and six. Turbo. Six, seven, fourteen, six, twelve, eighteen. Guys, you picked the wrong one. Did it work? No. Three? Three? three. All right, here we go. Someone said three. Let's do it. Bring it down. Nine. Add <laughs> ten. Multiply. Three times ten. Twenty-two. Sixty-six. Seventy-two. Is that zero? No. Three didn't work. How come you didn't do two? Let's try negative two. Don't worry. We're going to have to do this seven more times. Three. Negative six. Negative five. Ten. <gasps> close, close. Look, look. Ah. Oh. So close. Are you guys working ahead? Is someone trying to pick a number that actually works? Yeah. Two thirds? Two -thirds? Yeah. Sure, let's try two thirds. Uh, two thirds times three, which is two times three divided by three, which is? Two. Add down, we get three. Remember, this is like three over one. So uh, two times three, and six divided by three is? Two. Add down. <gasps> Negative six times two. Negative 12 divided by three is? Oh no. Six? Let's try six. Don't worry, guys. We only have 12 to test. <sighs> Should I tell you guys a shortcut? Yeah. No, it won't be a shortcut until you figure it out. So, Class six times three? Add down. Some really big number. <laughs> Is that 144? Yeah, 114. 114? 114? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, is it going to equal zero? No. You can just stop. Come on. Does anyone got another number? <laughs> negative one third. Wow, negative one third. Where did that come from? Please make this stop. Oh, no. Come on, guys. You still got 30 more minutes. Come on. Okay. I'm going to multiply the tops. 1 times 3. 3 times 1. 
3 divided by 3? Negative 1. Add down, you get? 0. Something times 0? Add down. Class is negative 8 times negative 1 third 6. Negative 6? No. 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 Two thirds. Six. We did six. We haven't done negative six. Does anyone go ahead and figure that one out? You really want a shortcut, don't you? No, I'm not gonna tell you. Negative six. Okay, okay, okay. Here, I'm going to tell you why one of these works. What? Think of the end behavior and the degree of the polynomial. Envision you in your head. Class, is this an even or odd degree? Odd, odd degrees. What's the easiest odd degree you know? <laughs> one. <laughs> Starts down, ends up, lean coefficient is positive. What does this mean? It will cross the x-axis. So there is hope. We just don't know what the hope is. One third. Try one third. Try one third. On the Are you sure? Yeah. One third? Yes. Try one third on the beat. But your life? You're gonna beat what? I said on the beat like on the beat. What the? What? <laughs> what number? One third. One third. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like a cuss word. Don't say it. Okay. Three over one, right? 1 times 3 is 3, 3 times 3, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 over 3 is 1, 1 times 1 is 2, 2 over 1, so that becomes 2 thirds, I don't think that's going to work, right? <coughs> Anyone get a number? Yeah. Two thirds? Yeah. All right. <laughs> negative two thirds? <laughs> let's let's try negative six. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. This is this is painful. This is painful. This is painful. Come All right, so let's get some hints, right? You're like, we tested all these numbers. 3x cubed plus x squared minus 8x plus 6. Zoom 6. <laughs> where, where, where did it cross? It is not negative 2. Negative 2, right? Is that the, does it match? Did, did you, did we test it? Yeah. yeah. Negative two is the first one we did. It's literally the first one we did. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> but he, he just started adding, cool. He just started adding more. Like did we do something wrong? No. No, we did it right. What? Weird. That's weird, right? Wait, guys, does this match? We got the calculator all stupid. <laughs> does this match? No, am I writing it right? Like 3x to the third plus x squared minus 8x plus 6, yes? yes. All right. Tell you what. You and people around you are going to test the ones we have not tested. Each person is going to test like one, one of those. And someone is going to find it because the calculator says we have one. Like two no no way. Way. All right, I figured it out. <coughs> I, uh, we did nothing wrong, but the interpretation of the graph. What, what number does that look like? Two. two. How do you know that? That's what it looks like. <laughs>
you judged without actually like taking the time to investigate. Second trace. <laughs> calculating the zero to the left, to the right, exact. Classes that say negative two comma zero. I can't see it has a delay. Oh, sorry. Negative two. Just a little bit more, right? Okay, here's the bad news. Ready? It's not bad news, but it's a good problem. My, my life's a lie. Okay? It's prime. <laughs> not nothing. You have the answer. Wait, did you know it was prime from the beginning? Or you just now, wait, 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 wait. I know it's going to happen, guys. Look, wait, stop, stop. I know it's going to happen. I, I've known this. <laughs> Students think, oh, this problem's too wrong, and they're just going to guess and write prime because they don't do the hard work. But in this problem, it just so happens to be prime. Hello, man.